Make your humming please stop. Uh, it's a great thing to do when you're by yourself. It's not the best thing to do. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is more multiplying, which I saw some of you mark things or give incorrect answers when we talked about multiplying, or when I gave you the answers for decimals, and yet nobody had a question for me about it. But let's talk about this. Remember the rule for multiplying decimals is to, oh boy, now we're already in trouble. Line them up, right? No, Thank you. It is not lining them up. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I told you not in big letters. You do not have to line them up. Yes, you do. The rule is to count decimal places. Count decimal places. And I'm not going to go through the whole step-by-step -step thing, but that's what should be in the back of your mind. So let's say you have this problem, 0. 2.5 times 0 0.3. I think the rule said simply multiply like normal, so it's 25 actually times 0 0.3. Notice the decimals there don't line up. They don't have to. You don't have to do that. I know this is a 25. What do you get if you multiply 25 times 3? Well, you get 75, but that's not my answer because I have to figure out where the decimal goes. And if you remember, how do we figure it out? You count decimal places, which means if you look at this, if you look at the decimal digits to the right of the decimal, there are two there, and there is one there for a grand total of count them one, two, three. And here's the new part for today that you didn't have to do before. We said there have to be three digits to the right of the decimal here. Now, a lot of people want to put a zero there, but that's not how it works. You start with what you have. And if I have to have three digits to the right of the decimal, I need to add a zero in front, in front, ladies and gentlemen, of the digits I already have. Don't put zeros at the end, but they go in front. The answer to this is 0 0.075 or 75 thousandths, or however many you want to say there. To which you're going to say, let's do another one. Let's do another one. Especially on problems like this. This is where I see a lot of people make, make mistakes. As a matter of fact, some people think they can do it in their head and they just go, oh, the answer is 0 0.1. Well, if you do this, if you do 0 0.1 times 0 0.1, 1 times 1 is, this is tough math here, 1 times 1 is, but the question is, where does the decimal go? Well, how many digits are to the right of the decimal here? 1. How many there? 1. So you have to have, you have, to have two digits to to the right of the decimal in your answer. And the answer is not 10.0, whatever. It's you have to start here, come back two places, and you get 0 0.01. One tenth times one tenth is one one hundredth, which Colin will tell you from the problem that he got wrong today, which was this, by the way. One tenth times one tenth compared to one tenth times one-tenth, right, Colin? That was what I asked you. Yeah. I remember it vividly. Well, what is one-tenth times one-tenth? One times one is one. Ten times ten is a hundred. That's one one-hundredth. And we just did this. Guess what my answer is? One hundredth. One hundredth compared to one hundredth is equal. They're the same thing. Something you have to start kind of getting in your mind, ladies and gentlemen, the people of all ages. Unlike regular multiplication, Jacob, usually when you think about multiplying, numbers get bigger. You know, like 7 times 8 is 56. That's a bigger number than you started with. When you multiply by decimals, numbers actually get smaller. You know, 0.25 times 0.3, that's 25 hundredths times 3 tenths. You end up with 75 thousandths. That's a lot smaller than what you started with. Mostly because you're multiplying by numbers that are smaller than 1. If you multiply anything by 1, you get itself. If you multiply something by less than 1, you get something. Here's a good one for you. Ready? 0. Point, I'll let you do this one. 0 0.05 times 0 0.03. And 
And I'll give you a clue. 15 is somewhere in your answer there. But where does the decimal go? Where is my decimal going to go in that problem? 0 .0 0.05 times 0 0.03. Zero point zero five times zero point zero three. Maggie, where what is my answer? That's only three decimal places. I count four. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Three times five is 15. There are two decimal places there, two there. One, two, three, four. I have to come back four places. Point zero. There have to be four digits there because there are four digits there. Now let's get really super complex. 0 0.0009 times 0 0.0006. It doesn't matter on what. You should be able to figure this out. It's no different rule. It's just a lot of zeros somewhere. Just a lot of zeros. shouldn't take you, I mean, really, this is a, uh, not a ultra-hard, ultra-long problem. Hopefully everybody got 54, because 6 times 9 is 54. The question is, where does the decimal go in that one? Sammy, how many digits have to be to the right of the decimal? Now, four, there's four in this one, and there's four in that one. That's a total of eight. So, probably the easiest way to say is, here's one place, two place. How many zeros am I going to have to put in there to get eight digits down there, Colton? Uh, eight. Not eight zeros. Uh, there six. Six. I've already got one place, two place, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight decimal places. Zero, 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 zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight there. Eight there. How many people had that? It's not any more difficult than that. So multiplying by decimals is a relatively easy process. Frankie, which question? Uh, I was going to say the number. Like, actually, what this is in real words? What is it? It's 54, 1, 10 millions. I don't know. I'll check. Right. It's 54. This is tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions. It would be 5,400 million. All right, one more. Zero no. point one three two times zero point zero zero five. Again, please remember that you do not line up decimals. They don't have to. Occasionally, they will end up lining up. But And Clark says, 
Uh, no, let me do the math. 5 times 2 is 10, carry the 1. 15 plus 1 is 16, carry the 1. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. This has three decimal places, that has three, so it has to be six total in my answer. I start at the end and come back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Point zero, 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 six, six, zero. Which Frankie says, how do I say that number, Frankie? That's what, this was your this is your little baby. Six hundred sixty millions. Six hundred thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand, you're right. Six hundred sixty millions. Good call on that one. All right. Your assignment then, ladies and gentlemen.